वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस यूजिंग डेल्टा टू स्टार कन्वर्जन सो लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो हियर वी आर हैविंग वन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क यू सी एंड वी आर डील विथ टू फाइंड इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस इन बिटवीन टर्मिनल ए एंड बी so this is terminal a and this is terminal b and in between that we are deal with to find equivalent resistance so whenever you have any electrical network first you will have to see what are the resistance which is there in series and parallel so if you observe here this two resistance that is there in series right and i don't see anything is there in series or parallel so what i'll be doing is i'll be replacing this two resistance as equivalent resistance as it is there in series so equivalent resistance of 8 in series with 4 that is 8 plus 4 that is equals to 12 ohm and this two are there in series so equivalent resistance of this two that is 13 series in 17 means that will be 13 plus 17 means it is 30 ohm so let us replace this two resistance as we have calculated so now this equivalent is 12 ohm so i am connecting 12 ohm over here and this equivalent that is 30 ohm so now i am connecting 30 ohm over here So now we are deal with to solve this circuit further. So I don't see anything now is there in series or parallel, right? Now to solve this circuit further, if you see here we have delta, right? And that is having resistance 12 ohm. And if you see here also we are having delta, and that is having resistance 30 ohm. So if you form delta to star conversion, like you see. here we have three terminals and i'm making it to star you see how i'm making it to star here also we have delta so we have three terminals and i'll be making it to star so if you make this delta into star you can have further calculation now as if you make this delta into star then for delta to star conversion all we need to do is we need to have a calculation of let us say this resistor then that will be multiplication of adjacent resistance of delta so that is 12 into 12 divided by all the resistance of that delta so here all the resistance are same so 12 plus 12 plus 12 so if you solve this then this is 12 divided by 3 means 4 ohm so each of this resistance that is of 4 ohm and over here also we are having delta to star conversion so let us say you want to solve this resistor then that resistor value that is multiplication of adjacent resistor so that is 30 into 30 and that divided by summation of all resistor of that delta so that is 30 plus 30 plus 30 so that is 30 by 3 which is 10 ohm so now i need to replace this delta into star connection as you see it over here right and then we can have further calculation of circuit so now you see this star is having resistance 4 ohm from the delta and i have removed this delta over here and this star is having resistance 10 ohm and i have removed the delta which is this delta now for further calculation all we need to do is we need to see series and parallel connection so now you can observe here this three resistors are there in series as it is there in series its equivalent value will be 4 plus 24 plus 10 that is 38 ohm now if you see these three resistors 
then that is there in series that is 4 in series with 10 in series with 10. So, if you solve this resistance then that will be 4 in series with 10 in series with 10 so that is 24 ohm. Now let us simplify this further. So, this resistance that is 38 ohm and this resistance that is 24 ohm. Now, as if you want to calculate RAB, then that is this is there in series with combination of parallel in series with this. So, you can say that 4 in series means plus and 38 parallel with 24 that is there and that is there in series with 10 right. So, that is what RAB which is therefore equivalent of terminal A and terminal B. So, I can say that this is 4 plus 38 into 24 divided by 38 plus 24 plus 10. So, this is RAB equivalent. So, if you solve that in calculator then that will be 4 plus 10 plus 38 into 24 divided by 38 plus 24. So, that is 28.7 ohm. So, this is how we can resolve equivalent network. I hope you have understood this. So, sometimes you have been given electrical network in which you do not find series and parallel combination. So, at that time you should remember this star to delta and delta to star conversion. For delta to star conversion, only one thing that you should remember is when you convert from delta to star, whatever resistance that you are calculating, multiply adjacent resistance of delta and divide by all three resistor. Right. So, that is how delta to star conversion that we can have. And if you have star to delta conversion, then all you will have to do is you will have to multiply pair of each of that resistor means this two multiply plus this two multiply plus this two multiply divide by as if you want to calculate that star from delta then opposite resistance that you will have to divide. Right. And then you can have star to delta conversion. So, these are the basic formulas that you should remember and that is how you should practice. One more category of example that is remain in equivalent resistance calculation that is to use symmetricity. So, I will explain you a few examples based on how we can utilize symmetricity to resolve equivalent resistance calculation. I hope you have understood this. Still, if you have any query, you just place that in comment box. I will be happy to help you.